Hey guys, and welcome back to part 5 of Mercenaries 2, Solano's Revenge. Last episode, we completed our first attack on Solano's bunker base, which went great. Especially when Carmona brought the timer to the party. Too late, mercenary. Fuck. Such bullshit. And yet, even with a gaggle of morons as a team, and a rather questionable plan in place, we were still able to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat and get ourselves some revenge. Somehow. A modern miracle, really. Served him right. Real talk. Thanks for the help, team. High five. Hey there. You suck. So, now that all two of Solano's upper echelon are eliminated, we are left with only one. The big tuna himself. <laughs> Where you going? Where you going? And he must be stopped. For good this time. Doing a bit of research and reflecting in preparation, I thought, if only I could call upon an ancient art, I could perhaps harness these powers and seek vic- What? Are you fucking kidding me? If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this place! Why and how could you do this to me? You didn't move, like, anything over to this version. What the fuck, man? PS2 guys got... screwed with this game. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, if you guys played this and paid for it. This... is bullshit. So glad they axed my cannon for the god-awful supply mechanic. I'm, like, reaching the end of this game, and a fucking scout truck is still standard issue. There is definitely something up with this version of the game. It's obvious because I had way more by the end of the previous Mercs 2 series. I don't know, the way this whole game's laid out is very frustrating and weird, and it leaves me hollow inside. But I digress. It's time to move on. Realizing we have no friends, <laughs> except for the Chinese, I headed over to see Pang, hoping that he could bring some levity to this situation. Oh! All right. Ah, oh, that's the pang I know and love. Instructed to destroy the Universal Petroleum HQ to damage the Allies' fuel reserves. By any means necessary! I was off to storm into battle on my steed. Noticing that the HQ is in a restricted area, surrounded by anti-air, I knew I had to be careful. Motherfucker! Alright, just a bit more. Fuck! I hope you like explosions! Oh, go fuck yourself, lady. What about the plummeting to my death part? Do you remember that one? Eventually, I realized I could just take out the jammer and avoid the sands altogether, allowing us to get up high for a nice vantage point with the action. Okay, Heli. What are you doing? What the hell? I can't get back in? What is this? Alright, new spot. Here? God damn it. I hope you like explosions! Alright. Goodbye, Universal Petroleum HQ. Nice nip. Not breathing, you can't use the cash. Oddly enough, unlike its HD counterpart, this mission just ends here. No destruction of the Maracaibo Bridge or rampage of the docks. Just the tower. That's it. I am really beginning to notice the very shallow waters I am swimming in. I'm drowning! I'm going to drowning! Oh, the simplicity. Hobbling back to the Chinese HQ, I spotted an HVT and went in to investigate. Okay, not exactly the approach I wanted. Alright. My beautiful stallion! That was pretty dope, though. Like, blew up underwater. Swimming my ass back to shore, a VZ battleship and a UP heli decided to duke it out. Kind of. The guy just, like, gave up. Heard that huge gun and peaced out. Or tried to. Figuring I shouldn't waste the death of a good steed, 
I turned my attention and vengeance back to the HVT. There's a high profile target nearby. Check your radar for the location. Who was huh. right up the road. Run, run. Attack, attack. Oh, come on, he's already dead? My vengeance! <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! There. Well, photographing our new friend went great. The contract that killed our steed and didn't need to happen, happened. And, uh... Now I'm just stranded. I don't even know what I'm doing. Trying to find some form of transportation to get the hell out of here. I eventually spotted something through the thick trees. Oh, look. Climbing aboard and gaining control, it was good to be back in the saddle again. Even though this one wasn't as nice. Clearly. Bit of a downgrade. But I guess she got us back to Pang. And that's all that matters. For now. Speaking to Pang, he blows my mind and informs us that this is our last mission. This is the final contract. Which I was not really expecting. Like, oh no. what does that bring the total to? Five? Five missions? I mean, I'm guessing, but does it matter? Five, six, eight? I love you, Pandemic. You guys had like 40 missions for each faction in Mercs 1. What happened here? Whatever. I mean, at this point, I shouldn't be surprised. I played this. At least the HD one. But... Shit, if it wasn't for me stealing one of their helis two minutes ago, I would have completely forgotten about the pirates. Intruder. Who are they? It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Don't know. Because I haven't even done anything with them! Obviously, many of these critiques can be applied to the HD version. So it's no saint. One more destroyed. This just feels worse. I don't know, it's ugly ass has no excuse. Continuing with Pang's nonsense about this being the last mission, and allied outpost, blah 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 blah. He directs me to destroy all of them, including the Allied HQ. My forces are leaving within the hour to attack them and take control of the Allied Command Center. Which again, feels kind of weird, because I haven't even seen it. Do you have any idea what it's like to drink a half a bottle of ketchup, thinking it was a bottle of 1946 Chateau Neuf de Pop? I need you to destroy the Allied outposts in the city. How many are there? Does it matter? A little. <laughs> I help you to take Caracas and you give me the bunker-busting nuke. I said I would. Yes, finally. Whatever. I guess we're going out first with the Chinese this time. What the hell are you standing around here for? The good old switcheroo. Not that it really matters. We'll do the Allies next. Anyway, deciding to meet up with the reinforcements to the north, we initiated our assault. Them by land, me by air. Taking down our first target with relative ease, all while dodging anti-air fire, our steed was holding up rather nicely, and I was impressed with her capabilities. Deciding to rest at a nearby building to call in some air support. No, not that kind. Thing is going oh, come on! Guys, we've just upgraded. From rags to riches. How glorious. And this airstrike. That's one less heliport. Hopefully a few less birds harassing you as well. Motherfucker just flew through the building. Two down, one to go. Let's do it, beautiful. Done. Nice job, that's all of them. The Allied HQ. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Three down, one to go. The Allied HQ. Unfortunately, due to it being a hardened structure, it needs the assistance of a bunker buster to take it down. The Chinese have granted you permission to call in one of their bunker busters. But I ask, from what angle? With the bunker buster busting and the Allied HQ destroyed, it was time for Pang to fulfill his end of the deal. Where's my new? And luckily for us, he was already out here. It's already being delivered. Just chilling, fighting the good fight, huh? <laughs> Yet before much more could be said, Solano drops a bomb on the Chinese HQ, lighting a fire under Peg's ass. What is going on? What do you think? What the hell are you standing around here for? What are you standing around here for? For all I know, you bombed the place yourself. <laughs> Just like standing there behind me. Oh my god, look at them. This is literally the first time I've seen you outside the tent. 
You know, the one that got nuked. It's already being delivered. I'm suspicious. The shit literally gets weirder and weirder the more I think about it. Must focus on Solano. Don't get distracted. Focus. Okay. Why am I back in the mansion? Where's my steed? Wait a minute, it left me the shitty one? But you can't do this to me. That one died, it blew up, and it still fucking remembered I had it? I had a better one. You fuckers. You know how much I sacrificed? Now I have to go in this, with this thing? I don't even get the advantage of the good one. Oh. This game is getting back at me for bad-mouthing it. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed part five of Mercenaries 2, Solano's Revenge. This episode was a real eye-opener. Lots of unfortunate realizations in this one. Dreams ended, suspicions made, jokes at my expense. I hope you like explosions. Things are getting crazy. And yet our journey is nearing its end. And with Solano, the only one left, I guess it's up to us and our amazing helicopter to finish the job. If you don't stop him, Serrano's going to win. So thank you guys so much for all the support and patience. I know these waits can be long, and unfortunately, until we finish one of the series we currently have going, it's just going to take some time to cycle through. I'm doing my best, so we'll see. Scarface is up next. Stay tuned for part six. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we all are. Thanks for watching. <laughs>